Alright guys, today we're going to destroy what has been known as money, or the illusion of money. I'm going to give you the history of money, and I'm going to explain to you how the gradual uh, changes have been made so that nobody really understood. I mean, from one generation to the next generation to this generation. Um, it's been so compartmentalized that most people don't see this <clears throat> and you have to know a little bit of history to understand it. This is what a C note used to look like. This is what they used to issue. This was this is where we get the term C note. And if you look carefully it says there have been deposited in the uh, in the treasury of the United States $100 in gold coin repayable to the bearer on demand meaning that you could take this note into any bank and receive physical gold coin in exchange for this uh, bill and this is how uh, paper money uh, got started it was basically a receipt um, for gold that was physically held somewhere else so you didn't have to walk around with a pocket full of gold weighing you down that, that was the uh, idea behind it and uh, gradually through time they changed this to silver so we had silver certificates and it's pretty much the same thing five uh, silver dollars payable to the bearer upon demand um, so you could take this to a bank and you would get five silver dollars uh, at any time anytime you wanted to do that you could do that and these were issued by the US government and 14 years after that note was issued we have the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 that was passed and if you'll notice it, it was passed when Congress was pretty much on vacation during the holidays um, and this, this basically was giving power to a private bank to issue our currency for the government. And uh, As you can see here with a uh, 1914 $10 bill, uh, it says Federal Reserve Note, no longer says the U.S. Treasury. And on the bottom they still say redeemable in gold on demand. Because like I said, they have to do this gradually. They can't do it overnight or you're going to have a revolution. Then came the gold confiscation of 1933 uh, under executive order, uh, where all gold coin, gold bullion, and gold certificates uh, had to be returned to the Federal Reserve Bank, and basically it was illegal to own a after this point. And this is um, effectively when you became property of the Federal Reserve. This is this is when they this is when your slavery started, and uh, like I said, this had to be a gradual process. So they were still making coins out of silver, so you could still take that you know whatever money you have, whatever uh, dollars you've been handed, you could still take them and exchange them for silver uh, through change, um, which is called today quote unquote junk silver, which there's no such thing as junk silver. Um, I dare you to go on eBay right now and try to buy a 1964 quarter for less than three dollars. It's not gonna happen. Um, continuing on. This is our junk coin today. Um, have you noticed down here at one time our pennies were made of copper. Today it's made of recycled cars. Uh, pretty much we got two and a half percent in there every bit of our money has been turned into junk metal um, and this happened gradually like I said nobody you know nobody upright no uprisings happened because it was so gradual it was so gradual throughout time and uh, I believe Thomas Jefferson said it best um, I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. Um, the modern theory of the perpetuation of debt has drenched the earth with blood and crushed its inhabitants under the burdens ever accumulating. And I want you to focus on this word right here because I'm going to take you somewhere in a little bit. 
Um, today, this is money. This is the money of slaves. Um, perpetual debt. Um, endless debt. Which is slowly changing into a digital currency, which is Bitcoin, which is even less tangible. It's, uh, you know, basically the breakdown is we went from gold and gold, uh, gold coin and gold certificates to silver and silver certificates to junk metal and paper and ink to plastic and now we are at air just air shit that does not even you cannot hold this stuff um, it just doesn't exist and the same for a uh, direct deposit when you go to work the the money never you never receive anything it goes it's just a number in a computer screen in a bank somewhere and uh, if you go online and you buy something on eBay no money is exchanging hands it's just it's a uh, I guess you could say it's um, social engineering it's it's kind of letting you know that the future is is uh, it's uh, it's a lie the future is a lie I guess that's the best way to say it it's um, it doesn't exist it's fake it's phony it's it's a facade it's it's make believe it's Disney bucks and Mario coins um, so as you can see we've gone from gold to air <laughs> and uh, everybody just accepts this paper and ink that's en endlessly spewed off a print printing press and um, and your kids lives are basically um, to uphold this debt basically you, your, your kids are promising to pay back what the government spent 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago your kids 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 are going to be paying this national debt uh, until this dollar is dead it needs to die um, when you double the national debt in, in eight years which has happened in the last eight years the national debt has been doubled you have to double taxes so think of it like that if you double the debt you have to double the taxes and if you don't then you're not going to be able to pay on that debt and if you can't pay on that debt then you're going to go bankrupt and if you go bankrupt you're going to have world war three because we owe china trillions we owe we owe all these other countries money and the money's fake they don't want our money because it's fake they know it's fake they, they want a new currency china has been demanding a new currency for years um, so basically i guess the underlying message is, is that we've all been duped and, and, and like a drug addict like an alcoholic the first step to defeating your slavery is admitting that you're a slave and that's going to be the hardest part for a lot of you you're going to have to admit that your servitude and your in your hours your slavery your labor hours are bought and paid for uh, with chopped down trees uh, mixed in with some cotton fibers and some ink that's it your entire life revolves around this people are killing for twenty dollars in somebody's pocket that's a piece of paper and ink people are selling crack to their grandmothers for a twenty dollar bill some paper and some ink um, you get up every morning for this piece of paper and ink your entire life revolves around this paper and ink illusion and paper and ink is an illusion it's a it's an illusion all across the board um, I'm gonna get into that in another video about uh, borders borders only exist on paper maps they don't exist outside of paper maps and the human mind you're not gonna you're not gonna see a bird who, who you know a bird doesn't know when he's going from Canada to the United States it, it doesn't exist it's a joke it's a fake it's a facade it's a it's an invention of the human mind here is um, some examples of what gold coins used to look like and these were real gold coins made with real gold actually had some kind of value with them uh, this video is already getting long enough so I'm just going to be leaving links to a lot of this stuff but I think you've got the underlying message here that we have been tricked no doubt about it um, yeah I'll be leaving links to all this stuff I thought y'all might find this interesting though so I'm going to go ahead and put this in there this is a fifty dollar note from 1778 and uh, has that uh, beautiful 13 step pyramid in there and I thought I'd tell y'all what I see when I see a pyramid because this is you know the basic message that I get from the pyramid it's um, slaves built this that's basically what it means slaves built this 
Uh, that's what it means when I see it. When I see the pyramid, that's what I see. So um, they're basically saying that you slaves are going to build this country. Uh, thanks for listening.